Property prices are always on the minds of people here in China, and today we'll look at a turn of events that has everyone from young university graduates to macroeconomists buzzing. After nearly a year of flatlining or declining prices in the Chinese real estate market, the cost of a home appears to once again be on the rise. A slew of statistics have been released both by government agencies and independent researchers, and the market appears to be showing the first signs of life since last year. The eye-catching numbers came out of the National Bureau of Statistics survey of home prices across 70 Chinese cities. According to the report, prices declined in 21 cities, remained the same in 24, and actually went up in 25 cities. This was the first time since September of 2011 that there were more cities with rising prices than with falling prices. Though the price increases were usually modest, the location of these changes is significant. Prices of a home in Shanghai climbed to $355 per square foot, a $3 per square foot increase, while increases in the Beijing secondary market were $8 to $420 per square foot. Many of the cities that had the highest increases are first-tier cities that were the subject of government policies to reduce prices last year. Some cities such as Beijing and Shanghai implemented policies designed to make speculation in real estate more difficult. These included raising the down payment for second homes from 30 to 60 percent, and in some localities limiting the number of properties that one person can buy. For several years, some economists have been ringing alarm bells about a bubble in the Chinese real estate market, saying that the outlandish prices don't reflect the on-the-ground reality. Tsinghua University's Patrick Chauvenek pioneered an interpretation of the housing market that saw the bubble as driven by wealthy Chinese who view buying multiple houses as a safe store of money in a country that lacks a mature financial sector or stock market. Government controls on the purchases of multiple homes would appear to be a step to cool this kind of speculation. The question that looms large now is whether the measures in fact slowed the bubble or were simply too little too late.